Realty's account down below, which is right here. I'm going to post it to the blue area. We're always going to post it to the blue. And the blue area, I'm, I'm never going to put a negative number. It's always going to be equal or plus. So I'm going to say this equals. I'm going to pull over that 500. And it took this 1,900. It went up by 500 to the 2,400. It's a debit balance. We debited it. Anytime you do the same thing to it, it increases. Also note what happened is that we're out of balance here in our entries and the ending balance is out of balance because we have more debits than credits. And you can also see the impact on net income. It was at income because that represent, the negative represents a credit of 24,710. We then decreased it by 500 with an expense to 24,210. Then if we go up top, then on the accounts payable side of things, we're going to say the accounts payable is going to be equal to, that's accounts receivable, accounts payables down here, credit side, equal to the 500. Now it also went up in the credit direction. And here's what I mean about we're using the minus sign mathematically because it went 1,600 up by 500, or you could say down in the negative direction mathematically to 2,500. So mathematically, you could say, well, it went down on the timeline to, to negative 2,100, sorry, 2,100. But from a debit and credit standpoint, because we're using the negatives to be credits, the credit went up in the credit direction by, by 2,100. So that's a little bit of a distinction. You got to kind of, it'll get clearer and clearer when you start using debits and credits. Now, what, now we'd also want to post it to, so that will put us back in balance, by the way. Now the accounts payable went up. We're back in balance down here. And then the, there's no effect from that second part to the net income because that's not part of the income statement. Okay, so now we're also gonna post it to the general ledger. The general ledger sometimes, like later on, we'll actually post it only to the general ledger and then use the general ledger to make the ending balances. But that's another level of automation. And once you do that, then it becomes a little bit more less transparent for us to see. This, this transparency right here to see what the journal entries impact on the accounts are quite nice. So let's do this. We're going to post this utilities all the way to the general ledger. Now this is going to be all the way at the end. It's the last account. So I'm going to have to scroll all the way over and I still want to use formulas. So I'm going to go all the way to utilities. Here's the assets and then here's the liabilities in yellow and then the dark blue for equity. And then here's the expenses and all the way at the end and down here we're going to have our utilities. I'm going to put the date here, which I said, I think I said it was 115. I hope I got that right, possibly. And then I'm in AV, I'm in, I'm in cell AV 17. I'm going to do the same thing equals. I'm never going to put a negative or anything in here. I'm going to say equals. I'm going to hold down the left arrow. I'm just going to hold it down until I hit the wall. I'm going to hold it down until I hit the wall. There's the wall. And then I'm going to go up. You can see the cells changing up top as we go in the formula bar. I'm going to find that $500, which is equals c2 i'm going to enter on c2 there it is now if you want to just type it in there if you're practicing you could say equals c2 if you would like to do it that way as well and what does that do it it took the 1900 previous utilities amount increased it by 500 to 2400 because we have a running balance formula here once again a debit balance account going up in the debit direction takes it up to 2400 that 2400 is also what should be on the trial balance. So if I go over to the trial balance, all the way over here, we've got the 2000, the 2400 right there. Looks good. Also note that we're out of balance on the trial balance by 500 now, given the fact that, uh, that we didn't record the other side to the trial balance. The other side now going to accounts payable. Accounts payable, I'm going to find that not on the trial balance, on the 